hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video i am going to show you guys five easy beautiful dollar tree diy for your valentine's decor and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe The first DIY that I'm doing is a whiff that I get from the Dollar Tree and now I'm taking off the um, decoration off of it and yep, I broke it in the process of taking off the decoration. With a little bit of glue, I was able to fix the part that broke and all you're going to need now is three packs of the Garden Roses from the Dollar Tree. Each stem has five of them and you just started to glue them around the, the width and um, anywhere that needs to get filled you could add another rose or you could take one leaf of those roses and glue them together to make it fuller I'm creating a heart shape on top of the weave by gluing the roses together and this is the final product. The second DIY, it's another whiff from the Dollar Tree. This one, I am going to make it look like an ombre. I'm going to start from the darkest pink to the lightest pink. <laughs> Thank you. 
when it's all done this is how it's going to look like it is so beautiful you guys <laughs> For DIY number three, I am also using the love sign that they had at the Dollar Tree. I'm taking off the metal because I would not need it. For some reason, I could not find my proper tools, so I'm using the scissors in my hand. But please use the proper tools because you could get cut. And I'm also gluing them together. I had two of them. I'm gluing them together so I could make a board. Now that the board is glued down and secure, I am tracing my pre-cut heart shape. And when I'm done with that, I will also paint around it with white paint. Now that the pen is dry, I am adding some Mod Podge in the middle, a good amount of it, and add my red glitter. <laughs> When you're done applying all the glitters, you should be getting something just like that. And I'm just cleaning off around the heart shape because it's a lot of glitters. And um, now I'm tracing down the word Happy Valentine's Day because I didn't want to leave the, the board blank just like that. After a lot of try, I finally get the words to transfer onto the whiteboard without using the proper stuff for it. I didn't show that part on camera because I really did not think that it was going to work, but it did. So what I did was, guys, I scrambled on the back of the paper of each letter and put it back on the board that was supposed to go and scrambled again on each letter and that makes it stick on the board. And now all I'm doing is I'm painting it with the color of my choice, which was red. And that's it.
I wanted to add something on top of the board. I took two threads, red and white, twist them together, add some match pad glue on it, and then glue it on the back. <laughs> And when everything is all done, this is what you're gonna end up with. DIY number four are also stuff coming from the Dollar Tree. I am going to make a candle holder. I am using those little heart shape to place them around the, the circular mirror. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna add another set going the opposite. <laughs> For DIY number five, I am also going to use stuff from the Dollar Tree. This love signs came from the Dollar Tree. I am using two of them to make a box and add some flowers to it. Thank you. 
and this is all my DIY everything came under $30 and I had fun making them if you guys love those kind of videos please give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comment below which one of those are your favorite DIY once again thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video